Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called Hotels. So obviously this does what it says, it lets you create hotels on your Minecraft server. Your players can rent out rooms for the amount of time that you set them up to be rented for. So really cool and you can have this system on your server and in the background as you guys can see there's a big hotel that you guys can download. There's a map, um, shouts out to the map creator, I'm just using this for the purpose of the tutorial. And uh, yeah, so you're going to need a few things besides the Hotels plugin. So download the Hotels plugin. And then you're going to also need Essentials, you're going to need World Edit, World Guard, and Vault. So make sure you download all those plugins, drop in your plugins folder, and then let's get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to type slash HTCM, which is creation mode, and then enter, and then hit enter. So here you get a few items. There's supposed to be an item here. I don't know what happened to it, but that's okay. We can still do without it. So basically what you want to do is you want to select two points that captures your whole hotel so from one corner to the other almost like an imaginary box so you're sending two corners one here and then the other all the way across and at the bottom so we're gonna go ahead and left click our first point and then we're gonna fly over and make sure that we capture everything so from that wall to that wall and it's pretty much lined up so go ahead and right click on your second point so kinda get it like the imaginary box kinda deal and then after that you're gonna wanna type the command slash ht create and then the hotel name so give it a hotel name an awesome hotel name I'm just gonna call this hotel and then hit enter so the next thing that we're okay I might have to change those messages in the config because it says welcome to hotel hotel um, anyways that's pretty cool the message is there next thing that we're going to do is we're going to want to select a room using our wand so obviously I'm going to start with room one itself let's go ahead and select two corners here it's so like I said almost like an imaginary box let's go ahead and select that side and then going diagonally across to the bottom corner now let's select the right side there we go so that should have captured everything looks like it and then you're going to want to type the command slash ht room and then the hotel name, so mine was called hotel, and then the room number that you're going to want to give this. So on the door, on the side on the outside of the room, it said one. So I'm going to name this one. And then there we go. So now we've created room one of hotel, hotel. Now we're going to do this another time just to give you guys another rundown. Left click the top corner, go all the way down and the cross, right click the bottom corner. For some reason that doesn't have a little pothole like the other one did. But we're going to go ahead and type the same command, slash ht room the hotel name and then the room number so there we go alright so the next part in this is creating some signs but before we do that we have the exit creation mode with slash ht cm and then exit bam there we go alright let's go ahead and grab some signs and let's go ahead and get started alright so it doesn't matter where you place your sign as long as it's inside the hotel itself so go ahead and place a sign down wherever you want and then you're going to, want to type bracket hotels close bracket and on the second line you're going to, want to type your hotel name so mine was hotel and then on the third line you're going to, want to type the room number that you're trying to create a running sign for so one and then you're going to, want to type colon which is two dots and then the cost so let's go with uh, let's go with a thousand yeah and then here you're going to want to type how long they get to rent that for. So a thousand dollars or coins for or however long. And I'm going to do 5D which is five days. And you can also do minutes or hours as well which is M or H. So a thousand for five days and you get room one. And there we go. So that is the renting sign. And obviously it says vacant because no one's in it, no one's renting it. Let's go ahead and create one for room two. So on the first line, you're going to type bracket, hotels, and then close bracket. And then on the second line, you're going to type the hotel name again. And then the room number, colon, and then the cost. So I'm just going to make it the same cost. And then for the same amount of time. So there we go. All right. And the last thing that we're going to want to do, somewhere in the front of the hotel, maybe in the lobby, and then type hotels in bracket close bracket and then the hotel name and what this will do is it'll let everyone know how many free rooms and how many taken rooms there are so that is pretty much it for this tutorial hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time peace out